Hello friends and my dear students. Welcome to Problems on Projection of Lines Demonstration using Solid Edge. We have already done problems on projection of lines. Everything is everything you know. You go to those videos and understand. Now what I am doing now is as I told you in the last session. Okay. This is session 1 on projection of lines. How to do a problem using solid edge. Now we will take up the same problem 1 what you have done in projection of lines. Okay. See here. The, this is a problem 1. This I have told you how exactly to do using uh, uh, that is uh, this how, the, how the, these problems are done and this understanding I have already given and uh, that is that to uh, this uh, once you have understood how you have to do it in solid edge that demo is given to you now. Okay. Now it is as I have told you here afterwards it is only first angle projection. We will draw XY line VP HP. In that way, see here, XY line I draw. Okay, XY line I draw. I draw VP HP. This uh, you take it as times New Roman for uh, for uh, this thing. Uh, that is the font size four. In that way, you take X. X, Y, VP, HP. In that way, you draw one uh, XY line. VP, HP. Okay, I have already explained this in uh, your sessions under projection of point, projection of lines. This is the first problem. I have already explained. Now I am explaining how to do it in solid edge. Okay. Now here, one end of a line AB is 20 mm above HP and 30 mm in front of VP. Okay. Uh, this uh, initial settings and all that, uh, don't forget. Sheet setup should be compulsorily A4. Don't uh, tick this. And uh, all this you should know. And uh, format style also, same thing you remember. Format style, modify. This unit should be mm one Secondary units also MM1. Text also compulsory times new Roman 4. This OK. And then say apply. These things is for dimensioning. Dimensioning will be proper. It looks clear. And uh, and uh, it looks better also in uh, while taking the printing. OK. These things you should know. And also I have told you uh, some of the things under this. Uh, Intel sketch. Uh, that is under tools. No? Alignment indicator and maintain relationship should be on. Under Intel is sketch, under uh, relationship, all this should be on and all that. You see that. These are all the initial things what you know. Okay. Now, one end of a line is 20 mm over HP, 30 mm in front of VP. You make it very fast. Okay. 20 mm over HP, 30 mm in front of VP. Okay. This is twenty mm above HP. Thirty mm in front of VP. Okay. Now this, as you know, the line is the uh, twenty mm above HP, thirty mm in front of VP. The line is inclined at thirty degrees to HP and forty five degrees to VP, and the line measures eight eighty mm and all that. I told you the line is inclined at not only thirty degrees to HP but also forty five degrees to VP. Keeping thirty degree constant, I'll rotate the line. With respect to VP in such a way that it is 45 degrees to VP also. In this way, in the front view and in the top view, the true length won't be seen. Both are apparent lengths. These things anyway, I will be telling you again. These things I have told you already in these sessions. Now, you see here. Now, you draw a line. Okay. Line is inclined at 30 degrees to HP and measures uh, 80 mm. Okay. You take 80 mm as the length. And 30 degree directly you can take it. Okay. Uh, and this is the line. Okay. Once you draw this, you take the projector also here. In the using alignment indicator, no. You draw this. This is the locus. 
I've, I've told you the locus significance and all that. You take one of them. This is a locus. Now, once this is the true length, the corresponding other view should be parallel to XY line. I've told you. This is the uh, line inclined at 30 degrees to HP now. Okay, take this. And this, as you know, it is inclined at 30 degrees to HP. And this measures 80 mm also. Okay. Now, I've told you the problems and all that. In any problem, 20 mm above HP, 30 mm in front of VP, this is not a parameter. Irrespective of this, the projections will remain same. Okay. But three parameters will be given. One is 30 degree, theta has been given. Another is 45 degree, phi has been given. And the true length has been given, 80 mm. Okay. The line is inclined at 30 degree to HP means is the true length of the line which is inclined at 30 degree to HP. And it is the true length of the line which is inclined at 45 degrees to VP. In that way, that is, theta is given, phi is given. You have to, uh, theta and phi given and true length is given. Using these three parameters, you, do, you have to complete the projection. Now, you do this. Once you do the true length, corresponding other view should be parallel to XY line. Okay. This, you see here. Let us say, this is a dash. Okay. This is B1 dash. This is A. This is B1 means, you see here, this is A dash. This is B1 dash. This corresponding other view should be parallel to XY line. In that way, you compulsorily do this parallel to XY line. Okay. This is 30 degrees to HP. Okay. Measures 80 mm. Once true length is found, corresponding other view, you must make, make it parallel to XY line. The line is also inclined at 45 degrees to VP. Okay. Now, what I'll do from this? Okay. 45 degrees to VP and line measures 80 mm. First, you take 80 and minus 45 also. Okay. Once you get this, okay, you change it to locus uh, representation. This is the locus. Okay. Now, as you know very well, this is inclined at 45 degrees to VP. Okay. Using this, this is 45 degrees to VP and measures 80 mm. Okay. Now you, you don't have to show this 80 mm again and again. Once, once, once it is shown, it is enough. You don't have to show it again. Okay. Then once this is the true length, corresponding other view should be parallel to XY line. Okay. Corresponding other view should be parallel to XY line. Now I will using the text command. I will name the uh, that is corners. B2, B2 dash. Okay. Now, see here. This is, let us say, it is B2. This will be B2 dash. Okay. Okay. Now, this is the true length corresponding other view parallel text XY line. This is the true length, 45 degree, corresponding other view parallel text XY line. I told you, when true length is found, corresponding other view parallel text XY line, which you can rotate, till it cuts the end projector or locus. Now, what do you do? You go to this. Okay. R command. R command. This only you take. Okay. This as the center. This as the radius. You draw it here. Wherever it cuts, this becomes the top view. Now, here, from here, now, if you draw to this, it becomes the top view. Okay, now A as center, AB1 as radius, I have drawn an arc till it cuts the locus. That means this point will be B. B you make it ready. B dash also you make it ready. Okay. Okay, in that way, you see here, this is point B. This is the top view of the line. This is top view of the line. You dot connect. You point 5 or point 7. In that way, you darken the top view. Once you darken the top view, you have to get the front view. No, front view getting is, is simple. From here, you take the projectors. 
from the endpoint, no? take the projector and hit against the locus. Okay, hit against the locus. This becomes the front tube. This becomes the front tube and this becomes A dash B dash. Okay, now as you know, the front view is completed, top view is completed and measure the inclination. Measure the inclination. See here, this. This is inclination with, this is front view inclination of the line with respect to HP is 45. And this top view inclination of the line with respect to VP is 55 degrees. I have told you here, once you do this, okay, this under text, no, text you go, under symbol you go, under symbol, under symbol you go, under symbol if you do, if you put A, it will be alpha, it will, if you put B, if you press B, it will be beta. Now, see here, now if you see this, this particular thing, 45 degree is the thing what you have found out. That is why what you do is you make it blank. Okay. And push this here so that alpha is so much. Okay. In the same way, you take 55 also. This you have found out. Make it blank. And take this beta here. Okay. Take beta here. Then you write. Okay. You see it? this. Once you do this, alpha is so much and beta is so much that they are the angles what you have to do. Okay. Uh, and you have to measure see here. This alpha is actually 45 degree. This beta, no? Beta is actually 55 degrees. Okay. You can see this. This you write. Alpha is so much, beta is so much and that way you can complete in the problem. Okay. alpha equal to apparent inclination alpha equal to apparent inclination HP equal to 45 degrees. This you write. Okay, there are, there are actually the answers. Sir. Okay, now in the same way, uh, beta, you write down, beta is equal to apparent inclination with VP. This if you see, it is 55 degrees, you write. Okay, same thing, beta, that is under symbol, no? Text you go, and Times New Roman, you change it to symbol. Symbol. And here you make it beta equal to apparent inclination of the line with respect to BP, you write down. Okay. This is beta is equal to beta equal to As you know here, beta is 55 degree. Okay. In that way, you write beta is 55 degree. There are the answers to this problem. Okay. 45, 55 degree. Immediately you have to change. Sorry. You have to change this to times new Roman. And 55 and degree. This is the answer. Apparent inclination with HP is 45. Beta is 55 degree. In that way, you are able to complete a typical problem what has been given in projection of lines. Okay. You A dash has center, A dash B2 dash has radius. In case you draw an arc, it will meet B dash only. These things you know already. Okay. This is one of the sessions, session one under projection of lines demo. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.